facilities back on the grid and my pipes again floweth with the sweet, sweet essence of my salvation. I suppose I have you to thank for realigning the machine. Of course, of course, Jasper, you imbecile. You'll need my voice to get into the chem lab. I'm obviously not coming with you, so I'm giving you a recording of my dulcet speech. This recording should get you into the chem lab. I hope whatever you're after is worth the trauma. I wouldn't go back there if I was higher than the mercury levels in a can of salt tuna. Wait, take my gun while you're at it. If you end up dying on Gorgon, there's a non-zero chance I'll feel partially responsible. Neither of us want that. Oh, no. Not even I would risk such usage. That stuff will eventually steal everything from you that makes you who you are. I might want to lose my recollections and feelings, but never my intellect. If you'll excuse me, my experiments cry out for my attention. Die, perhaps? Automechanical sentries are generally programmed to ignore corpses. I don't like the idea of going back to that place. To that life. Yes, I know it's not me risking my throat gallivanting around Gorgon. It's you, for whatever madcap reasons you've got. I've helped you once, and I don't feel great about it. I made a clean break from Gorgon, and now it feels like you're asking me to tether myself back to that place. I knew I should have deleted those letters. Of all the hull-headed things I've done while inebriated, writing subversive messages to my old manager's ranks somewhere in the middle. Here, my personal security keycard. There's a hallway near the processing room. It leads to a security terminal. Use this keycard to unlock the hallway and disable security. Even if I wanted to talk about Project making sense of... All right. Just one inhale. Easy does it, Jasper. Have you ever seen a lake as still and clear as a mirror? That's how my mind feels right now. The disaster at the chem lab was my fault. I tested Adrena time on primals. I decimated my own research team. And I was a coward. I locked myself up in isolation. I told myself that I needed silence and solitude to perfect my formula for Sky High. But the truth is that I was ashamed. Nothing. Everything. I told myself I needed a drug to help me focus. Help me work. The weight of guilt crushed my capacity to work, but if I didn't work, then I was worthless. Adrena time was like that. It was designed and marketed as a necessity. An elixir of productivity. It made you feel guilty for not using it, and then hurt you when you used it. I'm starting to lose sight of my own thoughts. Entropy reasserts itself in the palace of my mind. The high never lasts more than a few moments. Surely you jest. Even were I inclined to teach you, which I am not, you wouldn't be able to replicate an alternative to Compound X. The compound is derived from the metabolic waste of xenocytes, a microbial life form growing beneath the surface of Gorgon. However, they're accursedly sensitive to their ecosystem. Exactly. When Project Gorgon was active, corporate's varied attempts to port xenocytes off-world killed them. Every time. And even were one able to cultivate xenocytes in a petri dish, they'd need millions to refine even a dash of the compound. We mined immense amounts of Compound X directly from subterranean caverns in Gorgon. So you see, there is no Adrena time without Project Gorgon. As I mentioned before, making sense... Never mind.
You're adjusting before you pull. You're anticipating. You... Your ship's real I'm nice. It. What if I, I do hope the name's ironic, though. That's on account of I your thought stance. about hiding in a crate, into but it. they all smell Embrace sort of it. funny. Work with it. You're in control this here, Parvati, not sure the gun. Something. Don't let a hunk of metal to see the ground. Breaker. You've been around powerful machinery all your life. And you're always in control. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark.
I don't know what kind of mess Spacer's Choice made here, but it figures they'd leave it to someone else to clean up. Guess we're gonna have to listen to this Jasper guy one last time. Doc Lowe seems like the kind of guy who needs to get the last word in. This facility is currently experiencing. We attest to the zest with our hand on our chest. Be impressed as our guest by what we finessed. You are blessed to ingest what we thoroughly test. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Passphrase accepted. Access granted. Welcome, Dr. Jasper Lowe. So this is where Spacer's Choice's top lab coats made their wonder drug? Yep, looks like a mess. the strangest notion that was sarcasm. About wishing us good luck, I mean. I'm pretty sure the threat was real. That's gotta be our pal from the OCI, right? Staying out of sight.
Roscoe, it's Georgie. If you're hearing this, you must still be holed up at the Sprat Shack. And you're not gonna like this one bit. I was trying to steal our recordings when things went crazy. I know, I know. Like I said, sorry. And I'm gonna be in a heap of trouble if I don't get them, so if you want to save my bacon, you need to do it for me. I need the three interviews we did with Ambrose, this one here, plus another recording of my own. I left that last one with a guy who owed me a favor at the garbage processing office in the chemical waste ravine. I'll leave an automech near Stellar Freighting. It'll want all five recordings, plus a passphrase. Glacial age. Oh, and don't listen to my log, alright? Just, just stay safe and keep your head down. <laughs>